Hey, this is Billy from Permapastures Farm. Okay, we're going to talk about the, upde the update regarding this chicken tractor on steroids with the uh, meat birds. Now, we're going into the fourth week here, and the way the succession goes is after the fourth week, that's when you get your first finished compost pile. Or you could wait a little bit longer, toss it, you know, flip it one more time or two, and make it a higher quality. But folks, I am absolutely astonished at this point because we are starting the fourth week. And if you look at this stuff, it looks, the quality of it, the breakdown of it, everything about it right now is every bit as good, perhaps even better than the 18-day compost that we just did. And uh, I owe it all to these birds because, like I said before, I've done this system with Australorps, I've done it with barred rocks, I've done it with other birds as well, and a dual-purpose bird cannot move the amount of material that these birds do. This pile, before we started this morning, was every bit four feet high, and in the course of every single day, they will raise this thing to the ground. So at the end of the day, I just go around each pile, just kind of gather it up, and if I feel like it, I'll go ahead and stack it back up again. And um, folks, I'm telling you, this stuff is off the chain. Now, the reason why we're, we're focusing so much on compost as it pertains to your farm is no matter how good the stuff is you buy in town, and we do have some really, really good places to get good compost here, no matter how good that is, in no way can it compare to the stuff you make at home in most cases and if you do it right. Reason why? Microbiology. The microbes on your farm are almost certainly different than the microbes. I'm sorry, this guy's climbing up me right now. The microbes on your farm are almost certainly different than the microbes in the place where they've made the compost. Because it's like taking an Eskimo and dropping them off in the equator and expecting them to survive. That's exactly what's happening with the microbes. We're taking somebody that lives in the equator and dropping them off up in Alaska somewhere. And every microbe is indigenous to a certain place. So the more local you can make your compost, the more local you have microbes that are beneficial to the area you are. So microbes from, let's say, three hours away aren't going to be as beneficial to this place as the microbes grown right here on this farm. So I can't wait to use this stuff. In fact, William already has. And uh, as you see him, it's early morning. It's not even 9 o'clock yet. And these guys are already, like I said, this pile was up here. It is, <laughs> you see where it is. They're doing what they do. They get what they out of it, get what they need out of it. They poop on it and they drive on. Now let's look at the succession because honestly, folks, we can use this stuff right now. So I can't imagine, I can't imagine in a week from now what it's going to look like. So as we walk along, this is week number one. Now week number two is where I made the mistakes. Like I said, there wasn't enough material. Now I can go about, and it's a, it's, it's not quite, I'm doing things right now that I'll talk about later as far as correcting it. Now, I'm going to add a little bit more material. I could even combine a couple of these piles. But because this system is so new to so many people, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to bear the risk of confusing anybody about how the succession works. Week number one, week number two. It's breaking down. Look at the color of it. But it's not breaking down in the way I'd like. And you can see these guys are working on it. But we'll add a little more material just to make it work better. Now, this is Monday, and we basically turn everything on Sunday. That's when the succession happens. This is, this is the one that just came out of the cage, just turned it yesterday. And if you look at it, see a lot of straw in there, you see a lot of bedding. But as you, in, in just a couple of weeks' time, you're going to find out that this stuff is going to turn into the quality of the stuff you just saw. Now, I'm finding out, and I found out before, but there's so many nuanced things in this system that you learn little things as you go. And a little tip that I picked up from William was um, typically in an 18-day pile, you're going to put a bunch of water in there, you're going to cover it, and then you're going to turn it, you know, four days at first and then every other day. Well, this stuff doesn't have the benefit of having been covered. And I think what also accounts for the high quality of that compost down there is the fact that depending on what the weather is doing, and we get, re we get rain relatively often here. Depending on what the weather's doing, I may add a five gallon bucket to this stuff every single day. Depends on how much they spread it out. And honestly, 
That is one of the biggest differences I think that has happened here is that through his recommendation, we had about five gallons of water, depending on the weather, to each one of these piles. That is fundamentally the only thing we've done different, that and adding birds that are much, much larger than a typical dual purpose bird would be in a system like this. The amount of material they move is astonishing. And um, feeding them once a day, that's also a pretty good thing too. So folks, what here we are, we are a week away of getting one cubic yard of compost per week, local compost, compost that's incomparable to anything else you can find out there. Um, we've gotten compost from local sources and it's great stuff, but it's nowhere near, it's not even on the same planet as this, as the stuff that's a week away from, from unfolding right now. So here we are keeping you, keeping you going on. And you know, let's not forget about the birds in this system. They're putting on weight. Every bit is, you know, to the expectation that they should. The females not as quickly as I'd like, but who cares? I'm not putting any money into them at this point. So if I gotta get it, let them go for a week or two longer, no big loss to me, they're being fed for free. After the fifth week, they haven't been fed another, another ounce of store-bought food. And as you can see down here, they're gleaning through what was put out there this morning. We'll walk down to that cage and take a look. And here they are, week one, week two, week three, this is the beginning of the fourth week. And on this pile, uh, typically in the chicken tractor on steroids system, the way Jeff Lawton started it, you would have their bedding that was inside their house. You put that down first, put manure down, then you put your food scraps on top of it and you just add food scraps every day. They work through the food scraps. They say, okay, this is enough. You know, I didn't get quite enough to eat here. And then that's when they go to work on these piles but you do have leverage for changing things up. If you can't good, get good quality manure, then what you need to do, we put their bedding down first, add um, green material, you know, grass clippings, whatever you can find, weeds, put that down. And then on top of it, we took the bedding that we pulled out of the barn and put it on top. So the big thing is make sure you have enough. Well, there's a bunch of big things. You want your carbon and nitrogen to be good, but also you want to make sure you have enough material so you don't wind up like that second week pile I had back there and then be in the position of remediating. Just make sure you don't have less than a cubic meter. As I said before, we did the math. I did the math on this and I know that if I fill this cage one foot high with material, I have at least a cubic yard. Now I'm going to try to shoot for more than that at this time. But as you see these guys, they're gleaning through their morning scraps. As the, day is, as the day progresses, there won't be anything left in here. And then that's when they, you already have a detachment that's kind of broken off from these guys. They're working on the piles. By I close the business today, I'll come back and I'll show you what they've done in the course of one day. And it is jaw dropping. Um, never seen anything like it. So thus far this far into it i'm not going to count this thing a success until the day these guys go into the freezer but right now by every metric i see this thing is performing beyond my expectations many many uh deviations beyond what i expected so um we'll keep you update updated and anybody out there please give it a shot if you have the time you have the material Give it a shot. Let me know how it's working for you because you can't really call it science until it's replicated, right? So somebody out there help me replicate this and let me know what your results are. If you need any tips, I pretty much know my way around the system quite well. Just leave messages in the bottom and be sure to subscribe. Till next time, this is Billy the Permaculture Pimp Daddy from Permapasture Farm where pimp means permaculture is my passion. We'll see you next time.